Last summer, I did something different. I wanted to take my van on a long road trip. So I packed my bags, looked at an old map, and left with the only goal of having fun. I wanted to see it all from the mountains in the Alps to the little coastal towns to the melting glaciers and also the missing ones. So I guess this is what happens when you have no plans and there's a whole continent to explore. Anyway, I left Portugal in early July and my first stop was a beautiful national park in the north of Spain called Picos de Europa. I just made it to a town called Riaño, which is behind me. I think this is like the beginning of the national park. And oh my God, it's really exceeding my expectations. I've driven across Spain quite a few times. It's your only option when you live in the westernmost country of Europe. But each time I've managed to find new places. And this was no exception. That over there, on the other side of the river, that is France. We are about to cross to a new country. Let's go! We made it to France. Oh God. <laughs> this is the exact same spot where I crossed the border last year during my bike trip. Uh, so if you watch that video, you'll know that there's no signs telling you uh, you made it to France, but yeah. This, this region is so incredibly touristy. It's kind of impossible to do anything because there's so many people everywhere. I think I'm just gonna drive past all these um, like coastal towns. As tempting as it was to explore the coast, I ended up driving towards inland. The roads were empty and there were so many villages to explore. You're going inside a castle. Oh my God. We carry clothes we lived in, all the tales we will tell our children. Oh, 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 oh. The taking the high road. After spending a few days on the road, I made it to Paris. The idea was to meet up with my friend Jewel and convince her to join me for a couple weeks. Luckily, she agreed, so together we decided to drive east towards Strasbourg. <laughs> this trip was actually only possible thanks to Quadlo. They have the perfect phone case for your next adventure. Recently, they came up with a new Mac cases, which have magnets on them. So instead of having to twist and lock, it just snaps into place. The cool thing is that it is compatible with wireless charging. So by connecting the charger to the car socket, you get a wireless charger in your car which I think is pretty cool. Obviously, they offer all sorts of mounts and cases, so if you'd like to grab one, make sure you check the link in the description to get 10% off on any purchase. Again, thank you Quadlock for sponsoring this video, and now let's go to the Alps. No matter where I go, I'm only going with you. I'm so glad I decided to come to the Alps because I've always wanted to come here during summer seeing the snow up there and using just a shirt outside I don't know I think it's a cool combination because I took the long road to find you me is dinner. Seriously. Your, uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nice show. I wish we had a stove, but we don't. 
It's funny how a tent, some boring sandwiches, and a cold night in the mountains can make you feel so alive. I had no plans when I left home. I didn't know what I was looking for. But I feel like this was in fact the very essence of what I was seeking. But anyway, after spending some time in the French Alps, we made it to a new country. Switzerland, here we go. There is the flag. As we crossed the border, we heard about a little cabin lost in the mountains. So after doing some research, we found some clues. Okay, if my guess is correct, this should be the place. And the cabin should be somewhere over there. Which seems like a pretty short hike. I'm pretty sure we can get there in less than two hours. So let's go. We'll see you tomorrow. Can somebody tell me if these are Edelweiss? Because I wanted to see them, but I'm not sure if this is it. I think they're dead. <laughs> there it is. And I'm pretty sure there is nobody there. It's locked. Can you read what it says here? Link history. She can have a reserved and I need to make a reservation. Oh, there's a lock here. So maybe the keys are inside. Okay, so it might be possible. There's a number here. Uh, I'm just going to try to message them. Yes, it is possible. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's so cozy already. Oh, the smell. It smells like a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> like a fairy tale. Yeah. Maybe it's locked from the outside. Oh. There we go. Whoa. There's light. Oh. Wow. Can't believe it. <laughs> what do you think of this view? Yeah. Meh. <laughs> After spending almost a month in the Alps and hiking a bunch of different trails, we were longing for a good swim. So the next morning, we left in search of that. Eventually, we left Switzerland and drove all the way to Venice, which was so much fun to explore. Look what we have here. Mm. One's in Italy? Of course. After spending so much time in nature, it felt good being in a touristy spot and trying every ice cream shop we could. Unfortunately, Jules' holiday was coming to an end. So after spending almost four weeks together, we said goodbye. And as for me, I decided to continue on my own and drive further south. Honestly, I think coastlines are overrated. I, I think I've done that mistake myself. 
Uh, but you just need to drive a little bit inland to find spots like this one with no one. Um, I have spent the whole morning here and I haven't seen a single person. Uh, nobody really cares about my van. The police is not coming. Um, and yeah, I don't really know why people are so obsessed with the coastline. Um, and I'm not just talking about Croatia, I'm talking about coastlines in general. I think it's much nicer to be in a spot like this than being on a crowded beach somewhere. So I think I'm going to spend the whole day here. It's very nice and the water is so cold. <laughs> Obviously, after saying that, I drove towards the shore, and I'm happy to report that it's still possible to find some empty beaches. Also, as I spent time alone, time was slowing down, and since I was not in a rush, I decided to take a ferry to go explore one of the many islands along the coast. I cannot believe that I'm here all alone. What? And the water is so blue. Look at this. Life on the island was amazing. There's not much else you can ask for. But after a while, I was starting to miss the people that I would like to share it with. So after giving it some thought, I decided it was time to go. Good morning. I'm about to board a ferry to go back to Italy, which means I'm officially on my way back home. Even though leaving Croatia was a bit sad, I was excited for the last leg of the road trip. So after crossing the Adriatic Sea, I arrived to the south of Italy, and my first stop was Matera where they filmed the James Bond movie. I'm having breakfast with this view. <laughs> wow. It definitely lived up to my expectations. And as the sun was still shining and the views were good, I decided to stay for a few days. After all, I was trying to enjoy the ride back home. This is just an old cistern and it's humongous. It had capacity for 5 million liters of water, which is mind-blowing. And it's, it's pretty cool inside. I kept on driving west, and eventually I made it to the Amalfi Coast, where I found some of the sketchiest roads of the whole trip. And to be honest, I'm still not sure how I managed to park my van there. I'm swimming. In Positano. Well, it was definitely cool to see it in person, but it was so packed that instead I decided to go try the best pizza in the world. Look at this. <laughs> that looks so good. So good. I can confirm those were indeed the best pizzas I've ever had in my life and I still have some leftovers for dinner. As I drove across Italy, the trip slowly came to an end. And after spending over three months on the road, the idea of going back home felt right. We are back in France! I didn't know what to expect from a trip like this. Driving over 12,000 kilometers across 10 different countries, while eating outside every day and going for the most beautiful sunset swims, really makes you feel like you're making the most of it. You might call me crazy, but if waking up in the morning and peeing out of your van isn't the best feeling in the world, I don't know what is. Back in Spain. And so, after spending 105 days on the road, I made it back home. 
And honestly, I couldn't have asked for more. And so now, I ask you, what's your next adventure going to be? I hope you don't let it pass by, because life is short and there's plenty of time to be dead.